Let's go. Go, 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 go. You brought up Jeff Bezos, and uh, yeah, Jeff Bezos was part of the uh, most expensive divorce in the world. And the thing that was crazy about it, and um, from what I heard, so Jeff Bezos, who's the richest man in the world, um, literally got got a divorce. And through the divorce, his wife then took half of his money, which then made her the richest woman in the world, and he is still the richest man in the world. Imagine how much how much ducats is that that you can still be that way. How rich are you that I just took fifty cents of every dollar that you have and you still mad rich? You still the richest. You are still the richest. No, yo, and I saw this thing too where it showed that. Um, dang, it was saying how uh, Jeff Bezos does do charity, but his charity when you line up how much money that he has and how much he donates to charity, it's like point zero 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 nine percent of the money that he has or something like that. Wow. And it was saying that if you made $25 an hour and if you donated $20 a month or something, you're donating more money than Jeff Bezos has in his entire multi-billion dollar career. So it's again, the money hoarding, but uh, go ahead. See, so in, in this case, do you feel like it's a sweet justice slice? Because, hey, he did not have a prenup. And, you know, what I'm saying she definitely made it to 25 years of the up climb. Like, you figure, is she, there's no doubt that she's not do that. You know what I'm saying? So that's why she gets it. But, like, ain't that something? That's such a fucking turnout for 25 years of service, though. Like, that don't sound like a bad turnout, though. It's not bad. Yeah. Put up, you know, to put up with someone for 25 years and you get $137 billion like that. That's a good payout. But uh, your best life now, like, honestly, go out and go fucking jungle fever crazy, my dear. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, if I was her, I would become an amateur porn star and I would just be wowing out. Just I would have beds of his money all over the bed while a pack of Negroes uh, have their way with me. Like I would I would wow out if I was his if I was his wife. Like you have all the money in the world. Like what they going to do? Jeff Bezos gets a Snapchat of that every fucking morning and night. <laughs> every morning and then he would he would block me and i'd create a new snapchat and then send him another picture like i'd be in his dms all day like hey honey look what i'm doing <laughs> yo but uh no and i do i will say because i have mixed feelings about i'm just talking shit i i, I have mixed feelings about um the 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 that the wife gets half. I, 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 I do have mixed feelings about that. Just off of the simple fact of, and it goes back to the D.L. Hughley joke of, did you write half these jokes? Like, I understand that, okay, she lived a certain lifestyle and they were together for a long time and you can't just expect her to now all of a sudden get a minimum wage job and try to survive. I get that. But half, I don't, half did you do half the work did you do a quarter of the work did you do 10 percent of the work what did you do to earn half i still have an issue with that there should be like still like a man like a manager fee a finder's fee 10 to 15 percent especially considering how big of the pot can you do the calculations what's 15 percent just to just to if you can get if you get a calculator out right now uh because that- uh shoot even if it was just 10 percent that would still be in no, the billions. No. Look, well, supposedly now, and I definitely don't live by these standards unless I'm really fucking wooed and 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 uh and in love. Uh, supposedly the average gratuity fee now is fifteen percent. Like if you go to a, a restaurant or something like that. So you figure if at least that the motherfucker that brings you your food, you know what I'm saying? What more than this? So we'll say twenty percent. And let's just let's let's still be overzealous with it. Let's do twenty percent of one thirty seven, and then just just see how ridiculous that is. Can you can you check that out? I don't know. What are you doing in the so background? It's still wait. So we do hold up. So because I, I don't know what people would tip barbers. I don't know what the r- ratio is of uh, you know, regular at the bar. You're just sitting there anyway. Someone just literally just pouring it for you. And then that someone... would still be fifty four billion. <sighs> In a lifetime, that, that I mean, I, I'd imagine that'd be easy to spend <laughs> to have that. Ten percent is still twenty-seven billion. Billion? Yeah, we're still we're in the billions. In billions? Oh my goodness! Okay. And then so if it was, know, yeah, e- even if she got one percent, it'd be two billion. <laughs> it is ridiculous. It is I guess, ridiculous. Yeah, it's basic math. You know what I'm saying? I can't science, but that's that's basic math right there. Oh my God. That's crazy. All right. But so, so let me kind of connect this really back. Uh let me backtrack back uh to how this connects with Trump. 
uh, at least how I saw. And the reason why I feel like it's what pushed this, Trump has a beef with Jeff Bezos. I forget exactly what it is that, that has caused their beef, but he don't like his ass. Yeah. Right? Do you got anything to add on that? No, no, just that I've heard that. So, and the people that that broke the story, or the people that had been flexing on these people for the longest has been the National Enquirer. National Enquirer, as we all know, has been kind of like a, a gossip tabloid thing that we can't really t- you can't you can't really take it seriously, but it's so it makes you wonder how the fuck it's made it the thirty five some plus years, twenty five plus some years that it's been out. You know what I'm saying creating this this. Uh, ridiculousness and the fact that the name of the print is called american media it just kind of makes you wonder like that they they obviously say all about copyright who right who gets the name first but the fact that the ta- national Enquirer is owned by a company called the american media that's fucking crazy that they that's got crazy. anyways they they in federal record in courts and shit that's popping off right now, they have been tied to funding all the shenanigans Trump's been getting into. So whether they've been paying off a whore or paying this off, paying that off, they have been the the I don't want to call it the benefactor, but the person with the money. They've been the person. They've been they've been paying the tab. So they're in bed somehow, some way that I don't, we can't. I can't. I don't understand. But they've been, been flexing the muscle on Jeff Bezos. So this tweet came. Um, literally at the very same time that some Mex, uh, I don't know, I don't know exactly what kind of Latin descent this bride is. She was some kind of weather lady or reporter. She was, she's currently married to some other big wig uh, money making person. I think he's in sports. She's also <clears throat> had boyfriends that have been in the NFL, probably NBA. Is in the meantime, are you aware of this stuff? The- some of it, yeah, okay. I've heard some of it, yeah. So this chick apparently has dick pics of Jeff Bezos. Apparently, this dude is very well endowed. She shared it with the homegirl. Wait, who Jeff in- Bezos is? Yes. There's Yo, dick pics of this man. Wait, God is unfair. <laughs> what? God is unfair. How you know, dare? <laughs> how dare you make this guy the richest man in the world? And also, he has a hog on him. That's not fair. That is not fair. You got to take something away from this man. That's not fair. That's we, not we, fair. We got fresh dick selling for sixty dollars in the streets. Sixty dollars. Right sixty dollars. And, like, and this man is worth billions. You he's know what worth I'm billions, and he got a hog on him. That is unfair. That is unfair. Talk about having the fucking ice cream with the cake, and, uh, <laughs> and it didn't take very long for that shit to escalate into where again the friend is selling that shit to fucking the Inquirer. Obviously, them being you know get, being getting connected with Trump, Trump having something to flex. We're gonna throw this at you. You get this fucking supposed joint tweet that comes out him announcing the divorce all fucking abruptly, and then all of a sudden he's also mentioning that that he's given the trial and error of the separation, which again gives him like almost like leeway to have this little scandal be on the side and that not be a big deal because they've been experimenting with separation. So again, to, so so to announce things in such a calculated way, you could tell that they're flexing each other where they're both, everyone was just taking the next, you know, appropriate step into whatever it is that they give to us via media. You know what I'm saying? So like, okay. Yeah. And and to think, man, because then you look at the broad and the bitch is so fake. And then supposedly, and again, you can't really trust exactly all the information that you're getting because supposedly he's very much in love. And obviously, this is the shit that got him in. I hope he's not dumb enough to stick with this chick because sources from, from every end say this chick is bad news. Think about it. She's married to some billionaire that probably got, you know, ain't worth dick. And then to be messing with these NFL stars or you yeah. know, say other athletes that, again, got money. They, they've gone on record saying this chick does not like paying for shit. And why would you? You know what I'm saying? If you're carrying around pussy with you, why do you feel like you got to pay? <laughs> but, <yeah. laughs> now, I would say that's the reason why Diddy is doing it the right way. Diddy has been in a lot of relationships over the course of his career. Uh, J-Lo, Cassidy, Kim, rest in peace. Um, and that's the reason why since Puff Daddy has become uber rich, he refuses to get married. I am not getting married to any of y'all because I know I ain't shit. And all you're going to do is end up taking half no, so I'm cool. We'll just we'll be hey, we'll be homie love uh, homie lover friends. We'll just we'll keep it at that. But uh, I ain't doing this marriage thing because you ain't taking half because you and you didn't do half the work I had to do to get Bad Boy Records popping. Take that, take that, yeah. take that. <laughs> Yo, I think back to like he was such a not to call him a cocksucker because I would love to do business and I hate to call you a cocksucker to your face, but you know what I'm saying like. 
thing about like, how you latched on and how he got on, you know, doing the and we remember Shug Knight talking shit, you know, in the video uh, in the awards. You don't want a producer being all up in the videos, all up in the songs, right? But I was listening to Biggie's records, and that's like the most annoying part because Biggie has, and I'm more of a Tupac fan, but this so this means a lot coming from me is that Biggie yeah. has a timeless kind of flow, like truly, truly, yeah. truly. Did he have the perfect pacing for his voice? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And just whatever. It's just you could put it on any kind of beat. Just fuck with the BPM. You know what I'm saying? You got a beat that can match a Biggie vocal. And I was getting lost into like just remembering how deep, how believable, how just nonchalant he was about, you know, suicidal thoughts. You know, remember that right record? Like it's just it's just everything. Put it on the table. And then just mm. to fucking hear that, take that, take that, take the fucking take back. That, that. I'm like, uh -huh. oh, shut the yeah. fuck up. Uh-huh. Yeah. Bad boy. We don't stop forever. We in the nineties. Like I, yeah, Puff Puff was something else. I understand it was a time, but no. No, that was that was dick writing. I'm, I've never seen so, such more graphically until you know what I'm saying gay homies would show me porn I didn't want to see. Like that's that's you did. Uh, really <laughs> oh, yeah. If you didn't like this podcast, it's probably cause you're racist. Yeah. Fuck your feelings though.